What's up everyone? So the weather is really nice right now, so I'm actually probably just gonna take my uh, GoPro and the drone out to uh, Vitavu, which is kind of like a state park out here. Well, not really a state park, because I can fly the drone. But I want to just kind of test out some of the features of the GoPro, test out some of the more of the features of the, uh, of the drone. And I think it should be pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take the Jeep here, set up some of the different mounts, and we'll go from there. So let's go check it out. What's up everyone? So, we made it to our first stop on this little trip here today. This is called the Bunkers. Um, been out here for quite a while. I think since like World War II, they used to use this as a bombing range. It's pretty cool. I mean, let's go here, let's go check it out. You can see the bombing range. It's everything that it used to be right there. And then here is the bunker. Everyone always refers to this, it's pretty cool. So, let's go inside, let's check it out. The, this is the inside of the bunker here. As you can see, there's been many campfires in here and people in here spray painting, unfortunately. And what can probably only be described as like a meth orgy in here at some point, but you know, whatever. It is still pretty cool. And what would happen is the bombers would come up and they bomb out this range right here. And this was the window that they would look out pretty cool that goes in here goes out pretty far but yeah pretty cool you guys we'll walk around out top show you the top of it you can see the, uh, the door that used to be here to protect the uh, people in here vent holes are here or something like that and you can actually see down at the bottom there probably not on camera but yeah a little windy out but it's definitely not too bad jeep down there see a little explorator mobile just fun times going around here exploring So I'm gonna work my way back down to the Jeep here. We'll keep driving around. I'll show you some uh, some different things that we have here. It's pretty cool. Make sure I don't trip on my ass. It would not be fun. But, yeah, it's just a absolutely gorgeous day today. June and we finally get a summer so but yeah the bunkers pretty cool check them out <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
next destination, and this one is an old World War One, World, yeah, World War One, I, I think, um, U.S. Air Mail Ground Arrow, and what these were used for was back in the day, aircraft didn't have like the electronic navigation that they had today. They didn't obviously they didn't have GPS, they didn't have any like ground-based signals, and they needed a way to transport the mail across the country. Well, one of the ways that they did that was the government came by and they dropped or they made these big concrete arrows every so many miles all the way across the United States and the pilots would then fly low enough so that they can actually find these arrows some were actually manned with a uh, like some generators and some lights and stuff like that so they could actually fly at night um, but most of them were unmanned and they just these big concrete arrows that would just point their way to the next one this one is out in the Vitavu area um, out was it west of Cheyenne in here and not too many people know about it but it's still a pretty cool thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys so let's go take a look okay coming up on the arrow right here see if we can get a good shot of it on the ground right there actually yeah so you can see the whole arrow right there and this would point east towards Cheyenne and at Cheyenne there was another marker that the pilots would follow to their next one they would literally look for this arrow on the ground and fly out this way out east towards Cheyenne Cheyenne Wyoming to find their next route and continue on east and west across country delivering mail it's a cool bit of history that not too many people know about. Not too many know that there's a, they're out here. So it's pretty cool. Neat little bit of history here. I love coming out and finding stuff like this. It's so unique and just seeing how people did stuff back in the day and remnants. And I'm pretty sure there's like websites devoted to marking every single one of these arrows they'll find them on google earth give you the gps coordinates and they have every single one marked it's in america all the way across it is pretty cool yep yep so just one of the other cool things that you find out here when you just get outdoors and enjoy life, go find stuff. So I'll bust out the drone and kind of get a little some cool drone footage out of it and uh, I'll show you guys that here. See ya.
what's up everyone I think I got done with all the shooting and driving around in Vita Vu getting all the cool drone footage and using the uh, the GoPro so now I'm gonna go here to the uh, the bunkhouse bar and grill and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and uh, get something to eat something to drink and then uh, I'll go home and we'll put the uh, the video together and hope you like it be a pretty good uh, kind of collage thing of uh, Vita Vu so pretty cool but uh, yeah I will talk to you guys later. See ya.